Hi everyone, Mike Sherry with Paul Sherry RVs and I'm excited to show you the fifth wheel uh, that I'm going to video today. It's a brand new Arctic Wolf fifth wheel and customers have really been excited about this fifth wheel. They've been selling really well and I'm excited to have one in stock to show you today. But before I get there, a little bit about who we are. If you're unsure of who Paul Sherry RV RVs is, is uh, maybe stop this video and go to Google and type in Paul Sherry RVs. There you'll find our website. You'll also find over 400 reviews where people have traveled many miles to do business with us. Uh, Paul Sherry RVs is a family owned high volume RV dealership that just tries to treat you like we would want to be treated ourselves. We don't have gimmicks. We don't have uh, un documented fees where you get to the RV store and you end up paying in some cases fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars more than the advertised price due to extra fees and I'm not talking about taxes I'm talking about delivery fees and walkthrough fee all these made-up fees we don't do that here at Paul Sherry RVs and we also strive to have the very best price in the country uh, without any fees so uh, that's a little bit about who we are but now this or what this fifth wheel is this is a brand new 2020 Arctic Wolf fifth wheel. They call this a 295 QSL. This is a four slide mid bunk fifth wheels. Mid bunk fifth wheels have been the best selling fifth wheels the last three or four years and Arctic Wolf has put a twist to it. You notice it says Cherokee there. So Arctic Wolf is part of the Cherokee family of uh, RVs and Cherokee is the number one selling travel trailer in America and they're striving really hard to do it in fifth wheels as well by offering a lot of features without the premium price tag and that's what you get in an Arctic Wolf fifth wheel. You're gonna get the best insulation in its class, the lightest weight in its class, and also the most features. And I'm gonna to try to hit on most of the features in this video. First thing that catches my eye when we walk up is the nice cap. It has integrated LED light strips in it and it's a solid fiberglass front cap. And what really makes a front cap really beneficial is how far it wraps around the side here. And you've got about eight inches along the side here where that wraps around. That's going to really keep the front end nose of this fifth wheel really nice and tight and waterproof. Also, on the Arctic with fifth wheels, they put standard on here uh, the more ride orbit hitch. This hitch is going to uh, allow for short bed truck users to not buy a sliding fifth wheel hitch. And basically what it does is it changes the pivot point from here at the fifth wheel to back here. So it moves the pivot point back about 20 inches and allows you to now pull this and make the tight tor turns on your six foot bed pickup truck without having to buy the more expensive hitch. So for more details, call us and we can explain that a little bit better. You almost have to see it uh, to see how it works, but it's really cool. So three slides on the non, uh, on the non uh, fun side, I would say, on the non door entry side. This is what I call the business side of, the, of a camper. So three slide outs here. Up front here, you have good pass through storage. That's going to go to the other side. And notice the floor is the linen, which I like, so that's going to be easy to keep clean because uh, this is typically where your dirtier stuff's going to go in this outside storage compartment. You have your dump station down here. And notice the gate valves are actually up into the floor. So it means they're heated and insulated. This being an Arctic Whoop's gonna have the best insulation factor in this class. Coming back to the back, you're gonna have an outside shower. This will feature hot and cold water, great for washing off your feet. And also this has the optional travel rack on the back. That rack's gonna fold down, comes with the spare tire mount, and uh, allow you to haul your bicycles, uh, maybe a generator, totes of different kind of things you can haul on it. Uh, weight capacity is 250 pounds on that. Also comes prepped for a backup camera here. And on LED taillights there as you can see. So one slide on the fun side or the door entry side of the camper. And on the slide will feature your television mount. So you can mount your television right here. And you have appropriate hookups for the TV with power and coaxial and you also have some outside speakers here to allow you to enjoy your music that plays off your radio inside and that is controllable by your phone via Bluetooth. Before we go inside you have another storage compartment here that's going to come standard with your mini fridge and this also has the NXG uh, frame 
NXG not only builds the frame, they build the leveling system. And this is a four point leveling system. The first two points are up front here, and the back two points are right where they should be behind the rear wheels. So this camper will level itself, not stabilize itself. The competition uses stabilizing jacks, which aren't as strong. Uh, this uses leveling jacks. So this will literally level itself with the push of a button, and it's automatic. So coming up into the RV, it has a nice triple step more ride entry here. This is a very secure step and allows you to get in very easily with the assist of the grab handle. Also, the, the entry door here is a friction hinge door. That door is going to stay put wherever you place it, and it's rated up to 20 mile an hour in the wind. So no longer do you have those plastic latches to hold your door open, uh, and those latches typically break, which I really like having the friction hinge door. Have a nice power on in here. I don't have it out quite all the way due to how close this trailer is next to us, but also has the blue LED light strip, which accents the graphics really nicely. All right, let's check out the inside again. 2020 295 QSL. All right, so benefit of a mid bunk is you get the rear living floor plan without losing the bunk bed space for your extra sleeping. So this has the rear living floor plan. I did want to mention Arctic Wolf did a little twist to it. So typically a mid bunk fifth wheel is 36 foot to 40 foot long. This fifth wheel, write this down, is under 34 feet long and under 10,000 pounds dry. So your possibilities of where you can go with this is greatly increased, not only due to weight, but due to the length. You can get in the tighter campgrounds in this without having to sacrifice much space and no sleeping. So that's great. So couch along the back, that will actually come out for extra sleeping if you need it. Uh, it's a nice comfortable couch to sleep on, sleeper sofa. This has uh, the LG Smart Inverted residential refrigerator so basically this refrigerator uh, is the top portion so it's going to give you a big residential size for both the freezer and the refrigerator and it has little micro inverters built into it so that's inverting 12 volt power into uh, electricity to keep this food cool while you're going down the road so in other words the fridge will work off of 12 volt power which is coming from your pool vehicle. So it's really ingenious and it's a great setup. Beautiful kitchen here, as you can see a lot of storage. Has the Peninsula kitchen with a big basin sink, all stainless, it's actually the, the farm style sink. Has freestanding dinette, which is plenty of room to get in and out of. Your television will mount right there on the wall. And also has the optional fireplace. That's going to double as a space heater as well. Really nice to have to take the chill off in the mornings without having to fire your propane stove up. I really like this. So this is a pantry, solid door, all kind of shelves, all kind of storage in there. Really nice. All right, we'll go into this door here. This is the mid bunk room, and this is going to feature a couch that comes out to a bed. And also a bunk up here, I've got it in the stowaway position to use the couch as a 300 pound bunk bed up there. 300 pound limit on the bunk bed, I should say. That D1 heavy bunk bed if it weighed 300 pounds. All right, up the steps. So I did want to back up and show you the steps are a nice wood. A lot of companies use carpet. And what I see with carpeted steps, even brand new, is the carpet wears out before they even sell. Just from, you know, the few people that go in while they're looking at it. So it's nice having a nice solid surface step. Uh, you have your BAL leveling system here to do your jacks, and you can control them outside as well. And your command center here, which will tell you your levels of your tanks, your battery, turn on some lights, turn in or bring in and out the slide outs, and also work your water system. All right, above the mid bunk, you get the loft, which is a nice big area about the size of a double uh, size bed. And even has a little window up there, so you're not so claustrophobic. Okay, straighten this up a little bit here. Up front through this door, solid door, you have your bed. And this bed is really unique. Another unique thing Arctic Wolf does. So in order to get the shorter length, they put the bed on a slider, uh, which allows the bed to angle up for a good reading position. And also allows you to be able to walk around the bed. Now when you're sleeping, you can put the bed in the flat down position. That's really nice wardrobe space off to the side there. And then bathroom, 
is right to this door. So the bathroom is going to feature the nice uh, shower. It's a stand-up shower. Plenty of head height in here. Uh, has a nice shower head there. And it's a nice fiberglass shower surround. Foot flush stool. And has, of course, your hot and cold water sink here. And a medicine cabinet for toothbrushes and stuff. Also in the bathroom here, you're going to have a really cool attic fan. So that fan is going to get any smells or steam out of this bathroom. And also it'll act like a whole fifth wheel attic fan. So on a cool day, you can maybe crack a rear window, turn that fan on, and the ventilation is going to be unbelievable. You notice a lot of indirect lighting in here. That's not my camera. There's indirect lighting above the slide, above the uh, light feature, above the island or the peninsula kitchen and above the other slide on the other side. So it really adds to a nice ambiance and something you really have to come see. Uh, I did want to mention the price. Of, we are the best price in the United States. I just checked this this morning. Uh, stock number is 10539. This is a 2020, just came in within the last week or so. Uh, Forest River Cherokee Arctic with 295. So the manufacturer tells us, hey, Paul Sherry's, we needed to sell this for $57,872. Uh, and our normal price is actually $20,000 off of that price, which is $37,620. Um, we have this one on sale. Write this down. Get your pen out here. It's on sale for only $35,000. $700 right now uh, and that comes with some equipment this is pretty much fully loaded two air conditioners that's an option the fireplace is an option and also that rear travel rack is going to be an option uh, along with these packages you see down here towards the bottom the extreme weather which is your better insulation and the arctic and limited package which a lot of the features i showed you come in those packages so if you have any questions feel free to call us we can be reached at 937-778-5250 it has been extremely busy so if the phones are busy feel free to visit our website that's paulsherryrvs.com then you'll find pictures and videos on there you'll find pricing you'll have the ability to fill out the finance application if you're looking for finance rates and by the way if you are looking to finance an rv now is a great time interest rates are really good and the banks are really aggressively wanting the deal so therefore you can get a super low payment and we have had success with people with awesome perfect credit and also success with people who have had credit challenges in the past so if that might be you don't let that deter you from trying uh also if you're looking to upgrade your camper we do take in trades we're one of those dealers that do some dealers do not uh, but we do take in trades so give us a uh a shout there on our website you can fill out the trade in form there to make that happen and we can get you no uh no obligation quote on your trade in so thanks for watching uh if you could uh thumb up the video if you like it uh, subscribe to our channel uh, like our facebook page and uh, we'll see you again next time